a chance to sit down and film this video. It has been highly requested for me to do a Jeep pros and cons video. So that is what I'm doing for you guys today. If you're wondering, I have a 2013 Jeep Wrangler a Sport and I do have a two-door edition of that particular Jeep. I apologize in advance if at any point in this video I refer to my Jeep as a car. I know it's not a car, it's just kind of a habit. I tried to film this video already without referring to it as a car, but sometimes it slips out and I don't even think about it, but a lot of Jeep enthusiasts were very mad at me in my last video. So for this video, I will say that I'm only gonna be going over a few general topics. So I'm gonna go over like five different things. I'm going to be going over the price of the vehicle, the repairs of the vehicle, the gas mileage, my soft top, and the overall drive of the vehicle. I found that those were the five most popular things. I, however, now that I have had the car for a couple of years, will be doing an updated Jeep Wrangler tour. In that video, I'm gonna go into all the little bells and whistles that I particularly like or I don't like and things that I wish I would have, you know, maybe paid for the upgrade or upgrades that I have that I find are unnecessary. Starting off with the price of the vehicle, I'm not gonna get into the actual price. If you guys wanna look up how much a Jeep Wrangler costs, um, you can go onto the Jeep site, you can build it however you want. But I ended up getting my Jeep private party, so I did save a lot of money, and that's the reason why I was able to get it. But yes, a con of the vehicle is they are very pricey. But the pro of the price is that a Jeep Wrangler, aside from any other vehicle, does a really exceptional job at holding the value for that vehicle. So if you get a Jeep and you invest that money into the Jeep, you're not going to see a, a significant loss like you would if you're purchasing a different type of vehicle, if that makes sense. So as far as repairs go, you'll see people that have a ton of problems with their Jeep and you'll see people that don't. I personally got extremely lucky and I have had no problems with my Jeep. I've had it for three years. I did buy it used. When I purchased it, it had 10,000 miles on it. Sometimes when you do that, you know, you're setting yourself up for a little bit of risk, but the girl that I purchased this Jeep Wrangler from had done all of the scheduled repairs and I do upkeep the vehicle and I've had nothing happen to it. I did read online that there are certain people that have problems, but to me, overall, if you get a Jeep Wrangler, if you keep up with the repairs, I don't think you're gonna have problems with it. And I do think that your Jeep will last you a long time. I know a lot of people who have had their Jeep four years and that's kind of what I plan on doing. I kind of like always want to have it even if I get another car like I just think it would be cool to keep it and then in 10 years from now it will just be really old. Gas mileage and how much I pay for gas. So I just filled up today actually and my tank I let it go empty for the purpose of this video. You can put regular gas in a Jeep. So for my entire tank to be full today I paid $40. Keep in mind I live in Southern California and I do live in the beach cities which tend to be like really, really high gas prices. So even with those high gas prices, it cost me $40 to fill up the car and the tank usually lasts me about 300 miles. So you can do the math um, from there and what you see. If you're on the freeway, you're honestly gonna be getting the same mileage as any other car if I would have gotten the BMW. It's like not any worse or any less. I do have a V6 Jeep, keep that in mind. I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning, but my uh, Jeep is V6, so that has a lot to do with it. If you're going with the V8 model, obviously it's gonna burn significantly a lot more gas. A lot of people were asking questions about the soft top and if I still thought that I made the right choice in getting the soft top. Well, my opinion on that changes honestly every single day. I personally have used the soft top, taken it off and put it back on multiple times. When I first got that car, I'm talking every single day because since I live in California, it's kind of really hot during the day and then it gets a little too chilly or, you know, you want that comfort of having the roof on the Jeep. So I would, you know, take it down during the day, put it on at night. It is starting to get significantly harder to put it on and off. And I've heard a lot of people say, you know, that just happens with time. I mean, some of the pieces are plastic and just, you know, metal. So it's not going to last forever. I don't think I've found myself, you know, taking it on and off as much as I used to. So I am thinking about getting the hard top, but then again, like I said, the pro to having a soft top is that you can always take it on and off, and if you're ever anywhere and it starts raining, you can just throw it back, back on. If you have a hard top and you take it off, you have to leave the hard top somewhere, so you just don't have that safety. Like, you don't have the safety of just being able to put it back on in any scenario. So I think if I do get the hard top, I'm gonna have to be more careful, and it's gonna have to be a thought process like, oh, I wanna take the top off today, where am I going? Is this a good idea? So it's really a pro or con on 
what you're like looking for. As far as the soft top goes, a lot of people ask about noise and the temperature. The temperature I find doesn't really make that big of a difference whether you would have a soft top or a hard top, but I don't live in a place with really crazy climates. Um, and then the second thing is people always ask about the noise and I'm still able to have a hands-free Bluetooth conversation um, throughout the speakers in my car with the soft top, so I don't personally find that it's actually that loud. The overall drive of the car, I find that this is really just, you know, what you're looking for in a vehicle. I will go over some of the pros and cons. None of this bothers me, but it may bother you. The overall ride of the car, I would describe it as if you've ever driven or been on Indiana Jones at Disneyland, you, you feel bumps. Like if you go over something, yeah, you feel it and you move, but I'm so used to it that when I'm in someone else's like car and it drives all smooth, it, I'm kind of like uncomfortable. I'm like, um, this is weird and it's just not normal to me. So I've gotten so used to it, but a lot of people complain about that. Um, so if that's something that would bother you, then it would bother you. If you haven't experienced that, go test drive it and see how you feel. Personally, I love it. It's cool. I, I think it makes the driving my Jeep just so much more fun. And then the next thing is the the Jeep, not, I'm not gonna say car, the Jeep. It can be sluggish. And I went from having a Jetta that had like a turbo engine and it had like really quick pickup. Like it picked up, you know, really quickly. The Jeep isn't really like that. But, and this is the main like negative thing that people will say about the Jeep. Speeding is illegal. So I don't know where you're trying to get and I don't know why you would buy a Jeep if you're someone that likes to go really fast and you're some sort of NASCAR speed racer. Um, speeding's very dangerous and don't do it. So that is all I have to say with that. I hope you guys found this video helpful. All in all, I absolutely love my Jeep Wrangler. If you're thinking about getting one, I would say 100% do it and you will be seeing a updated Jeep Wrangler tour soon. If you have any other questions that you would like to ask, maybe I can do a part two if you guys would like to see that. Give this video a thumbs up if you would like that and let me know in the comments down below anything else that you had, any questions, comments, concerns. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!